on the screen, we got this game that I was really interested in playing. I think I saw it on the RPG Maker forum, as a matter of fact. It's a game by, I guess it will be Dante Williamson. And it's called At Week's End. Now, it's supposed to be a roguelike first-person experience. They're using RPG Maker MV and they're using RPG Maker MV 3D uh, for this. So, I'm really interested in seeing how they put, how, they, how, they, how, they, how, how he used it, how it works. So, let us get into it. Interesting that they don't have any um, any opening music for this. But, you know, maybe he didn't feel like it needed any opening music to it. But this still should be a pretty good play. So let's get into it. Watch the intro. Why, yes. By week's end, humanity must beat my game. And what if we don't? An otherworldly tower has appeared in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, okay. Huh. Deep within its walls rests the Game Master, who has issued a challenge to mankind. Try as they might to skirt the rules, mankind send their best to beat the Game Master at their own game. Ah! A new guest approaches. Welcome to the tower. You may refer to me as the bookkeeper. I oversee everything within the tower, ensuring all is accounted for. Now then, who dares to challenge the tower? Okay, so balance starts with one medic satchel. Unchallenged strength starts with one sports drink. This is the artist. Brilliant young man starts with one stabilizer. I mean, I guess I'll maybe I'll start with the first one. So not, again, this is like this is a roguelike. I'm always interested in seeing how people make roguelikes in RPG Maker um, and how they go about doing it. If I'm, I don't know if he actually had any um, devlogs for this. But if he did, I definitely would have liked to see just how they did. I believe uh, Driftwood Gaming, when he was doing more doing RPG Maker stuff uh, initially, I think he was in the process of showing how it can be done, or he was actually um, going to make a, a, a roguelike, I think. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button. Oops. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, do, 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 do. I was wiping my keyboard. I thought I turned it off, but I, I guess I must have hit the, the, the. I hit the button, and it hit it again. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, you can't type it in, which is fine. And uh, what's the at symbol? I'll go with at the at symbol at. Oh. Am I? Woo. And so it shall be. Let me just move the mouse. Do, do, do. Seven days remaining. So we have floor zero, zone zero. Huh. Care to buy something? I mean, I guess what's in here? Skeptics notes. Increase willpower by one stack. Must stack. Sign up for free. Gain a 5% discount on all items per stock. Jasmine tea. Revive, removes all status debuffs. I mean, I guess I'll get one. Painkiller. Um, word vomit. Inflict psychic weakness on one enemy for three turns. A Molotov. Evade death one. Breaks after use. Oof. Hope diamond. Increase faith by four per stack. With interest gain, one dollar for every ten steps per stack. Hmm. Yeah, sadly, I didn't do that. 
Get another Jasmine tea, I guess. Keep your wits about you. Huh. Okie dokie. Now, I remember the last time I played a game that had the RPG Maker M uh, 3D on it. And it was Wrath of Woods. <laughs> it was Wrath of Woods game. Uh, what was, I forget what the name was. My, my computer wants to eat me. And <laughs> it made me, I guess the way it was, it went back and forth and, and the kind of uh, smoothness of it, it actually made me, uh, made me get motion sick. And I was like, oh man, everybody was roasting me in the comments for that, man. I got roasted big time in the comments for that. Uh... Oh, crap. So I couldn't avoid that battle, I guess. Uh, let's see. Close quarters combat slice, I guess. Okay, protocols. Let lose a barrage of bullets. Low chance of critical damage. Steady shot. Defensive stance. Huh. I mean, it didn't take any damage yet, so... The floor is over. The fight is over. Plus three dollars. Okay, interesting. Huh. So now you're supposed to beat his game. So now it's not like a riddle to how uh, obtain near death experience. If a death once breaks after use. Okay. I kind of wish there was a map. Hmm. Word vomit. Incoherent ramblings. Inflict psychic damage to one enemy for three floor three turns. Excuse me. Huh. Got to keep the wall to your back. Sometimes you gotta, gotta try to do. Unless the wall is the enemy, then you're you're just pretty much done for. But. Huh. Huh. Can I I can't go in? Why not? Wait a minute. I mean Is that it? Okay. All right. Yeah, this. I kind of wish it had more music and like had the music playing from earlier, but you know what? I guess it kind of adds to the creepiness factor. So we can't go back that way of him uh, not having it. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I guess you know. Just engage him in Mortal Kombat. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay. Mm. So you don't level up. Or do you level up? Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. P P E. Get him out of here. Protocols. Rapid fire. Focus your aim. Cognitive shield. Defensive stance. I mean, we can try that. Okay, well, he's out of here. Okay, he's... Let me see. Protocols. Cognitive shield. We're not doing any psychic attacks, so. Jesus, Louisa. Huh. Oh, wow, you only get a chance, one chance to use it? Oof. 
Or oof. Okay, that's not good. Uh, equipment. WP WPA badge. Government badge housing a picture of your family. Reminder: What is at stake? You cannot fail. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Ah, so I can't get past him, damn it. <clears throat> wow, okay. Um, hmm. Hand B rank two, hand A rank two. Hey, hey! Yeah, this does look interesting. <clears throat> Come on, get him out of here. What the hell was that? Uh, Jesus Luis. Uh, do do steady shot. So it's a large hail of bullets, but it's not something that goes for the entire group. Uh huh. Let's see, maybe do the rapid fire. And more of this. Wait a minute, only $6? Fighting all three of them? Are you crazy? Dog, what? Okay, so we got a Molotov. Okay, let's see. So you're not really... Are there like any clues I'm supposed to be looking for, maybe? Uh, like anything I'm supposed to be pressing or anything like that? Because if we're playing a game, I would assume there has to be some kind of a rule. You know what I mean? Like... Like, if the guy is challenging humanity to beat his game, I would assume there um, has to be something else going on here. So I'm wondering what. Abyssal Charge, Condensed Darkness, deal 45 damage to one enemy. So now these are like skills. There's a protocol, so I don't I don't get anything else with that. Uh huh. Okay, so these are just it's it's actually just status menu. Okay, so status menu equipment. Hmm. Wait, did I get up? Okay, I got two of those. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm kind of interesting interested. Excuse me to see what else is involved in this. <laughs> Do you play the game by like, what the hell is that? Chair of rank two. Get out of here. All right, six days remaining. All right, so we got six days remaining. Do we have to make it? I wonder if we have to make it to him within six days or maybe something like that. And then when we get there, then we have to play some kind of a game. I wouldn't be like surprised. Um, let me see. Wait a minute. Okay, huh. Wait a minute. Okay, nothing there. All right. I kind of wish we had a map so we don't end up uh, getting lost. Hmm.
I mean, the one thing I liked about it, about this game was the art style and the battle and the um the battle system. I thought that was really really cool. Um, so we got one near death experience. Okay, so I got this is what I gotta throw. Remove all status debuffs, but it doesn't give anything in terms of helping of health. Excuse me. Uh huh. What is this? Painkiller, become numb. Okay. Word vomit. Okay. So those must be the steps up to the next mind gem. Restore us 50 mind. Okay. Huh. We got 27 bucks so far. I guess the roguelike uh, uh, elements of this are the element or the, uh, I guess maybe some of the enemies and the items you get. Because I guess trying to make a, a real roguelike kind of map in RPG Maker could kind of be difficult. Wow, he came out of nowhere. It's like, hello. Uh, I, I, part of me wants to make sure. Oh, you bastard. Oh, there, there's a pack. Oh, your pack feels slightly lighter. That's what brought me back. That. Oof. Okay. I mean... Huh. All right, now. Sheesh. You only get $12. Damn. Damn, man. Okay, hold on. Tools. Jasmine tea, abyssal charge. I mean, I guess that's about it. Are you gonna wait till I do it? Or go turn your back. You gonna wait till I turn my back? Oh, he's a rank three. That's why. Okay. He's some broken. <laughs> They do look cool though. I, 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 that's what that's one thing they really got me was the art style. I like the art style of this. Like they're definitely not your ordinary run of the deal, one of the mill monsters. You know what I'm saying? I definitely, I, th I definitely think they, they were pretty cool. That was one of the things that actually got me to watching, uh, not watching, playing this game. And goodbye. All right. So, uh, let's see what we got over here. Those are the steps up. Really? Just an empty room with nothing, nothing much in it? That's kind of a waste. No items, no nothing. That's, I mean, I guess that's part of the roguelike whole thing. Like sometimes, I guess maybe some of your runs will have really lucky runs, but oof. I guess that's it. I guess there's nothing else more for me to find, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, I guess that's it. I wish there were other ways that you could get some uh get some healing in this. Like there were other like like chests the way you can get uh I'll just throw this. 
What? I'm sorry. What? Oh, man. The psychic is now selectable. The psychic what? Let's throw another one, maybe. Just I ain't got a lot of time. Turn pass. The fight is oh oh you son of a beast. Okay, tranquil band. Okay, that's great. Uh, what about like I don't know healing? And you ain't getting no no kind of healing in this. Man, this is harsh. Dog, gone. The dev is not here. He don't care nothing about about that. Ooh. Okay. I mean, that's great. Can I get any kind of healing? A painkiller is nice, but. <laughs> so wait a minute. Wait, wait. That's it. Uh, uh, brother, uh, what's that? What's that, my brother? Uh huh, okay. I'll see. Really? I'm about to die. All right, so here we go. Oh, is that one enemy? Oh. Well, he's wrecked. Didn't survive. It appears there are no worthy challengers. You have been defeated. All hope is lost. Despite all your triumphs over the tires, the tower's denizens, man, he met his doom at week's end. Huh. Okay, I think if you were going to do that, you probably would want to have like a, a black screen or a black picture come up and then have the text. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it do be like that. And it be like that sometimes. I can't explain. Hmm. No, not this time. I mean, we could try it again with this guy, see what happens. And what should I call them? Call them, I guess, Agent X. Hmm. Um, I think another game, an RPG maker that did the kind of do the whole uh, roguelike thing was Soul Survivors, which I think was a, was, a, was a did it in a very well executed way, and I think it was pretty cool too. So I think Soul Survivor actually was a, is another good example of, a, of another attempt at this. I'm not not really sure about this one so much because you're not really giving. Like he's not really giving uh, the player much of a chance at um, healing at this. You know what I mean? Gain one down for every 10 steps per stack. Um, maybe I'll go with this so I can gain some money. When's the next time I'm, I'm even going to be able to uh, spend any money though? For real, for real. Uh huh. Okay.
All right. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we just have to just go do what we got to do. Damn, out the gate. The you will not survive guy? So psychic attacks. Pain tolerance. I believe that would be a psychic attack. Okay. Wow, okay, get him up out of here. The fight is over. Huh. Another one? Another one. So you might as well get it out the way. And then hit him up with the slice, which is just as nice. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Here we go. So now I got to get over here, get to the stream. I got to get to the stream and take care of this. Get this jack off out of my doggone chat. And or no, just ban it. There we go. Excellent. Bye bye, bot. Huh. Okay. So that's the door out. Wait a minute. Okay, that's the door that we got in, came in that door. All right. Ah, okay, so we got a chest. Got a Molotov, nice, okay. Another good roguelike that I have played, another a good uh, indie devlog, indie roguelike. Uh, was secret uh, dungeons of mysteria that was a good that was a good game i had a lot of good runs with that a lot of fun with that game um i definitely should try to get back to playing that more often i usually have those on my uh random one saturdays all right here we go so now we got to deal with this. So we got the guy first out the break. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, man. He, he, woo. This game is definitely not for the faint of heart. It is not. Damn. All right. So I think maybe I shouldn't act like these. Everything is so precious. Uh-huh. Oof. Damn. And I don't have anything to really... Yeesh. Ugh, brother. Ugh. Ugh, brother. Ugh. What's that? What's that, my brother? Damn. That's crazy. Okay, so for some reason that other picture didn't come up on that one the last time I got. Oof. Yeah, he, ooh, man, this is ridiculous. Okay, this is this is definitely difficult. I I don't know. Hmm. 
Are these like, say like different settings? Is this like different modes? Like this like the hard mode, medium mode, and this like the easy mode? Exploit enemy weakness 50 times to unlock this challenge. Defeat one zone boss to unlock this. Oh wow, so you don't even get these. Oh wow. Okay, so who? Okay. Oof. I I don't know if Huh. See, I don't know, man. I don't know. Because it, it just doesn't seem like maybe I'm missing something. But like, you know, like in regular roguelikes and stuff like this, they at least give you some kind of a chance, at least somewhat to heal yourself while you're going through at least through like the first floor or whatever, or like the second floor. This game seems like it's missing something. Not sure what the yeah, it's like it's like it's not giving you enough chances to actually try to succeed. Like you only get one healing, that's it. There's no other places where you can kind of go to where you can actually get a, a quick rest, pick up some HP or something like that. And that's what's really uh, uh, needed to keep you to keep you going to playing the game. First aid certificate boost with vigor recovery items by MRE still macaroni your favorite boost effectiveness of protocols yeah I don't think I don't think at least for me unless he's doing it for every zone in terms of you getting like a, a shop or something like that it's still in this hopefully the dev finds out what something is and adds to it yeah I think unless he's doing this for every zone, like the having the shopkeeper come up, which I kind of get, I would think, hmm, like the Jasmine tea, like none of these things will do anything to kind of help inflict physical weakness on one enemy. Okay, may break bones. I mean, that's nice, well, and good. I'll get that. Uh, I got another one, I guess. And I wish there was a way that you can get like some kind of an ability to heal yourself. That definitely would be a huge, 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 huge buff. I think that definitely would be a, 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 a huge help uh, in that regard. Uh, okay, that's good. Okie dokie. You know what I also wish? If you could catch the enemy from the side instead of like having them catch you, like give the ability to maybe give me an extra turn for combat. Kind of like you, you like the same like in old, in the old school RPGs where you would say uh, you caught the enemy by surprise and then you get like an extra turn to do damage and stuff like that. Something like that, you know? Maybe I'm missing something. Something to kind of kind of help the player uh, when they're uh, going through this. Like this definitely would help. Oh, okay. Jeez, Louise.
and more places to actually spend the money that you actually get. Like maybe once every, okay, well, I got that. Well, thank you for that. Once every two or three floors. Game might even need two or three more. Yeah. It, it, this, it, I think the idea, the premise behind it, I like. But to kind of help the player kind of get to the stuff you want to get to, you definitely got to, you got to help them out. I'm not saying make it easier. No, I'm saying give the, the player more opportunity to be able to try to meet the challenge of your game. If, I, if, if that makes sense. Or try as much as you can. Like, I've never tried to make a roguelike, so therefore, maybe I'm just, you know, just talking out my, my, my glutes. But. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, abyssal charge, that's great. Another abyssal charge, that's nice. Okay, great. Okay, so I don't have any enemies on this floor, doesn't look like. Oh, what's this? What's this? Skeptics notes. Okay, that's interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. You're saying the triple the monster stats right now, guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Make it, yeah, make it more difficult. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, make the game completely unfair. <laughs> Bring on all the monsters, all the monsters, like all of them. Right at the, as soon as you go in the first door, like all of them. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. All right. What we got here? Medic satchel. <coughs> we'll store fifty mine. Oh, okay. I'll use that then. Cool. All right. What's over here? Okay. Well, before we do that. Oh, he's trying to follow me. Screw it, man. Like, he was on it. He was on my tail like a champ. He's like, where you, hey, where you going? Hey, no, no, wait, 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 hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, wait, wait, where you going? Where you going? Like, hey, brother, where you going? It's like, hey there, brother, where you going? Okay, the fight is over. I only got $5? Man, that is crazy. Only five bucks? Oof. Man, you are not making this easy. Man, that is punishing. Five whole bucks. So between both of them, it was two fifty a piece. E gad. And Gad Zeus. Sheesh. A mask resting on a pile of clothes obscures your path. The eerie mask emits an intimidating aura. Before the thought of sidestepping the mask even crosses your mind, your attention is stolen 
find unusual tightness around your cheekbones. The mask has bound itself to you. Obtain strange mask. Gain soul sacrifice power. Beware your max mind. Uh huh. Okie dokie. Huh. Yeah, that's that's that was something. Was not expecting that. That was interesting. Okay, that's the door out. A mini map would probably be nice too, I think. That kind of could help out. But then again, I guess he's making the, the floors relatively simple. Like some uh, some music with this would be nice. Also, the ability to maybe find like secret uh, doors or compartments, secret rooms where you probably may be able to heal. I think that could also uh, go a long way as well if you had those. That definitely, I think, would add to the experience, I think. Uh huh. Oh. Just want to make sure nobody jumps out and jumps out at me. Okay, so nobody's no 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 jump scares, no jump scares, no jump scares, no jump scares. Okay. Oh, nobody jumping out at me. Okay, cool. So a soundstone and earthly melody can be heard from within. Add psychic damage to your basic basic attack. So do I like equip that or what? Okay, so gain soul sacrifice power. What does that mean? Hmm. Uh wait a minute. Only got one near death experience, and that's one death experience, and that's it. Huh. Okay. So that's the stairs over there. Make sure I didn't miss anything because there could be something in here worth getting. Add more treasure. Yeah. Another big, yeah, another as big as map. But if you are taking too long, more months to show up, that could probably be a good idea too. I mean, I, I definitely appreciate the fact that he is uh, making the effort. A few more things added on to this, though, I think would, would definitely add on, would, would definitely uh, make the game uh, an affair to remember in, like, in the most a positive way possible. No jump scares, no jump scares, no jump scares. Okay. Another soundstone. All right. So, wait a minute. So, do I just have like an extra one for no reason? I mean, I guess I do. I don't, I want to see if there's anything else here before I just up and just leave. Would help the big map concept so players would like to, would like to get lost. Yeah, that too. Okay, so we got something here. It looks like it's a good chest too. So obtain stone, make broke bones, inflict physical physical weakness on one enemy for three turns. Huh. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to use the the items we got here for the best result. That seems to be the only only thing we got. The only the best choice we got. Now this time I don't have the. Didn't really do a lot, do a lot of fighting in here. So, whoa, what the hell? A small glint cuts through the darkness. A shiny marble is revealed to be the source of the glare. Pick up the marble, leave the marble alone. I mean, I guess pick up the marble. Upon touching the glistening marble, an overwhelming fatigue takes hold. 
even after a short rest, you can't help but feel off. In some ways, you feel better than ever. However, the inverse is also true. You realize you don't have time to fully investigate the changes to your faculties and decide to press onward. Obtain a reversal bead. Peer through the marble to see an inverse world. Swaps maximum vigor and mind values. So wait, hold on. Wait a minute, wait, 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 what? Huh. So my mind, my mind is 80. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I don't see anything else and I can't move forward anywhere else. What the hell? As you walk into the darkness, you feel a sudden chill run down your spine. The sound of pulsing pistons and wicked machinery fill your ears. Sudden sparks graze the ground beneath you. The hum of voltage dances around the room. Processing. Uh-oh. Processing. Scan complete. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, what? Oh, no. So we got to take that out, apparently. Do that again. And go one more again. Okay, okay. Wow. Uh huh. I see. What? You out of mm. <laughs> it, it was at that moment you realized you screwed up. Yeah, that's oof. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta say, I like the ideas that are presented in this game. I think, okay, first off, let me just say this. I just got through playing week at week's end. Cool title. Um, you're gonna need a, uh, 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 what is that? A com not a comma. Uh, a doggone. Uh, not a. Par what is that? Not a parenthesis. Not an apostrophe. Not an apostrophe. Or whatever. For the possessive. Um. So the the game in and of itself first has great art. It has interesting music. It has a very interesting concept, and it's another RPG maker game that is using or trying attempting to use in the art. Uh, um the roguelike mechanic. Those are things that are, that are really will make it very eye-catching, especially the art. The art and the battle system definitely will be uh, the big draw for this. My only critique is what I would say is, firstly, you've got to make this less punishing on, especially a newer player. I can see if you have veteran players who, who, who are used to this game and can... Uh, know how to maneuver and they're looking for another challenge but for people who are just starting to play the game you gotta give them a little bit more help and actually get to where you want them to get to to really enjoy the benefit of your game you know what i mean give them a way where they can heal healing especially healing especially in this because what you're you 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 even the ability to go to a shop once I guess at the beginning of, I guess was will be zone zero, I guess, right? And that's fine. You switch it up a little bit with that. But what's really going to help them is having a, some kind of way to recover at least a little bit of HP throughout going through all of these floors. I don't know if you have, um, there was this other game I was playing 
what was it? Hold on, let me look look through my uh my records here. There was another game I played that also did the, the same kind of thing, and I, I forget what the name of it was. Uh, da, 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 it. What was it? What was it? What was it? Was it uh and the nightmare? What was it? Uh, let's see, not blood orange. Yeah, and the nightmare, and the nightmare was a demo of that. Um, and the nightmare, the nightmare, I think was trying to do the exact same thing. I believe now that I remember it, I believe it did, did it was kind of do something kind of sort of uh, uh, similar as well, and it did help in regards with giving the player abilities to try to heal themselves throughout all of these dungeons. In your instance, you're going with a roguelike. Even like, say, with we're going to go with like the Binding of Isaac, right? The Binding of Isaac still gives you, at least in some kind of way, to get, get some kind of health to you. So you can be able to at least try to get to the boss and get to the challenge of that. That's the first thing. Second thing, um... Uh, like Leaf was offering, if you're going to use if you're going to use maps like this and people are taking too long, you can probably add more pressure to them by adding more monsters to come on, to make to add that extra pressure onto the player, to kind of hurry up and get to the next floor, or to increase the challenge if they're taking too long. Also, if you have you can have uh, music either a per zone for each of the floors through the zone, and then you have the boss uh, battle music as well. That'll actually help out. And I I think a mini map of the floor would, would kind of help as well. But I guess your, 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 your floor maps aren't that big, so I guess it's not necessary. And if you were able to have the ability to get the jump on your enemies, like I was saying before, like in the old uh, uh, Final Fantasy games, to get an extra turn of, of battle, I think that would actually help. I don't know if I was actually doing that in that last time, that last one I was doing it, and maybe that was happening. If you have that, or if you did implement that, that's fine. If you did implement that, let the player know that that has happened. So it makes the approach to the battling more strategic for them instead of kind of leaving it up in the air in that regard. And I think with that, I think with that, you really will have something here that a lot of people will have a great time playing. And I think if you're trying to lower the player first, and I know you don't want to make it too easy, right? I understand that. But I think, hmm, maybe if you had some, uh, maybe some chests that gave... Uh, a healing satchel, or maybe not even a healing satchel, maybe like an apple, um, uh, a bit of bread, uh, whatever you want to call it, and that can at least heal the person by, say, I don't know, uh, 10%. You know what I mean? Something to kind of to give them the ability of knowing that, okay, well, at least I have something I can kind of fall back on to make it to the next level. Or something that I can I can I can work with this. Do you know what I mean? You, you got to give your players a way that they can kind of strategize ways to meet the challenge that you're setting before them. Because if you're not giving them that, it kind of it, it kind of adds to the frustration and almost almost a sense of hopelessness. Okay, well this is I got to go through all this and I, and the, the every time when I go higher higher up in the uh, the zone. The enemies are going to get tougher and it doesn't seem like the person who's playing is getting any stronger. Like they're not getting any real, not any real abilities, but maybe like build any kind of get any builds going. Like, you know, like in, in say like games like Binding of Isaac or Enter the Gungeon where a character or even um, Dead Cells, they're all roguelikes. But what happens here is they have a way that you can build into a certain type of gameplay with the items that they have and that changes the way it is it doesn't lower the difficulty but it it makes it more playable for the person who's playing it to get to the next level and things of this layer this nature you know what i mean so 
I think with that, if, if that kind of mindset in place with this game, I think you should be able to do it. I, I think you can. I'm not sure how exactly. Maybe uh, making different items that they can actually build into also. Mm. Maybe giving the player a shop, say like a shop, maybe if you don't want to do it every floor, I mean, I guess you don't want to want to copy the, the binding of Isaac. Um, I mean, I don't, I think having a floor, having a shop, the option of having a shop every floor with healing, that probably could help. But if you didn't want to do that, if you wanted to give it to him every other floor, that also can do it. Uh, secret rooms where they can discover either a place where they can heal or where they can get other items. That probably would be pretty cool. You can decide to have, if, if it's a secret room, but it's like some kind of a boss, not a boss, but like a, a, a typical enemy in there to kind of just like, you know, get a nice little jump scare on uh, the player. Kind of add like a, like a risk and reward type of thing for that. But yeah, uh, again, this was At Week's End by Dante Williamson. I think it has a lot of potential to be something really, really great. I'm hoping that maybe some of the thoughts and ideas that I'm giving here is something that Hugh will take in effect and uh, add it on to the game. Or maybe he'll come up with something different. I'm not sure. But I'll definitely keep an eye on this. Now, this game is currently on itch.io. I will leave a link to it. Uh, you can buy it, I believe. I think he's asking for like $2 or $1 for it. If you feel like giving them some, your support, make sure to do so. It definitely will help him out. And it will uh, definitely help in making this game or, or giving him the encouragement to put this game out. So on that note, I want to thank everybody who came by and watched this now. Everyone who's coming to watch the replay. And everyone who might be watching this on YouTube. If you did enjoy it, feel free to hit that thumb, subscribe, ring the bell, ring it again. Make sure you get all the notifications so the algorithm can bless your boy and my channel can continue to grow. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Um, I keep saying that I'm going to try to do something this weekend for Wednesday. But Wednesdays, during the Wednesday, during the day, I'm busy. And at nighttime, <laughs> I just feel tired. I don't feel like doing anything. But I'm going to try to see if I can do something on Wednesday for folk if they're interested. I look forward to seeing you guys again. If not this Wednesday, then God willing, next week. Y'all be safe out there. Bye-bye.